Skyrim. Being flown today by Mr. Dan McHugh. Dan will be bringing that airplane back in a few minutes to give you the full demonstration. But on deck, it's the United States Army National Guard, their UH-60 Blackhawk helicopter, performing for you today and a little bit later on in our combined arms demonstration. We'll be blowing up the field with lots of high-flying, exciting action for you with the UH-60 plus those two C-130s we were telling you about. Been out there all day, you're sweating. You and your men are ready to get the heck out of there. How are you gonna do it? You're gonna call in one of these things. The UH-60 Blackhawk. It's a four-bladed twin-engine medium lift utility helicopter manufactured by Sikorsky Aircraft. Inbound right now from left to right. Ladies and gentlemen, your very own Blackhawk for the Army National Guard. Folks, it's your UH-60 Blackhawk. Airplane. Just imagine seeing that thing slide out on the side of a mountain. Wouldn't that scary if you're on the ground? Coming up next, they're going to set this thing down and they're going to show you a maximum performance takeoff here, folks, for the UH 60. Get up there into an out of ground effect cover here in just a few seconds. Watch as the UH 60 just pivots around up there and sets right back down here on the target. show center right now the UH-60 is going to come on down and show you what it's all about. This is how the UH-60 would land in Afghanistan and Iraq and all of the operations that we've been in for a number of years now. Watch as they bring this thing right down the air show center in just about 10 seconds. Black Hawk of course has served combat in Grenada, Panama, Iraq, Somalia and the Balkans, even in Afghanistan and other areas throughout the Middle East.
circling the landing zone right now. They're inspecting it for any enemy that might be out there. You can just put yourself there. Imagine the night vision goggles. The guys on the ground. The predators might be overhead. They're watching for any signs of movement before they go in there, ready for those special ops guys to pop up in the darkness. Watch now, folks, as the UH-60 circles down and lands in the landing zone to pick up the people they need and then get out of there with this max performance tank. Touchdown by the UH-60. Give a big round of applause, everybody, to your very own Rhode Island Army National Guard. I guarantee you that guy in the back can see you waving and soaking the pilots up front. Here they go. They're throttling up. We're going to see what this thing is made of. It can haul a house up with the max performance takeoff of the UH-60 Blackhawk. aircraft in the fleet right now. The Blackhawk can be configured in so many different patterns. I'm going to show you another touch and go leg. This is simply a pilot training maneuver at this point. The guys are going to get a final survey of the runway. Then they're going to come back down and do a smooth and low pass for the folks. The UH-60 prepares for a standard landing here. You can watch as he brings it on down ever so slightly. Just like landing on a heavy bed. Flying this machine, set it right down with another All right, Rhode Island, are you ready to see what this thing can do? How about a high speed pass now from our UH 60 Blackhawk? We're going to circle back and get this thing wrapped up and running. coming. It's a welcome sight of relief and you want to see it coming fast and that's what we're going to do for you right now. Ladies and gentlemen, from left to right it's high speed pass, the UH-60 Blackhawk. Time here now, ladies and gentlemen, going back, back to the 60s, ladies and gentlemen, because this is an act that you're going to remember for a long time to come. 